Canada within NATO has a reputation for being a leader in protective clothing, a leader in providing world-class clothing to our soldiers, especially in chemical biological protective equipment. In Canada and Airbus Defence have collaborated together many times. Our gloves are a very good example. The gas mask we're making is another example where there's different technologies that are licensed from Canada, including our own technologies to bring the two together to make the best products in the world. We sell to over 40 countries worldwide. The people on our team understand the procurement rules and regulations. We understand how the program offices work. We know how to deal with government agencies. We're patient. They want competitive pricing. They want a good value proposition. They want the most stringent, high-level specifications they can get. They want consistent quality and consistent delivery against contract requirements. You're going to give the person the highest level of protection, the chemical warfare protective protection. It could be extreme cold weather protection for our footwear for our winter. It's giving them that high level of protection where it's not impacting their operational capability. I think we have the best products in the market and we can prove it. We have the test data to demonstrate that our products really are meeting the stringent specifications required by our end users. We have subject matter experts here in house that are very, very aware and knowledgeable of what the end operational use is of the products. We have PhDs, we have physical chemists, we have engineers, we have some very good technicians. We'll adapt to customers' needs with respect to the contract requirements or even product modifications if need be. Here in house in Bromont, we have a toxic industrial chemical lab, both for gas and liquid penetration. We have physical property testing. We furthermore even have a staffer located at the Canadian government testing grounds where they have a chemical warfare testing line. We do have a technology base with respect to the materials we use. We actually compound our own rubber materials, for example. We have subject matter experts in-house that are very knowledgeable about material sciences. New products we're working on is infiltration, chemical protective clothing possibly. We're talking about a gas mask, it's lower breathing resistance, better comfort, more balance on the head. For hand wear, it's something that's good fit, something that will manage heat, perspiration. On footwear, good fit, best sizing. We have more sizes than our competitors do in gloves and footwear, even in masks in some cases. We sell carry bags, spectacle kits, uh, drinking systems. We're a personal protective individual equipment company. Understanding the logistic requirements of the product. Our products often are stored for up to 15 years before being used. In operational scenarios, they have to trust their product. The product has to be functional for multiple days or weeks in the operational theater. In wartime, you can't be bringing in and shipping out products. The soldiers are given what they have and they have to trust it's going to work for the period of the mission. Innovation relates to maturing material sciences. Taking materials that provided in the past 24 hours chemical protection, then adding flame resistance, improving oil resistance, making them broader spectrum. Our products are used broadly by both first responders and defense people. In recent conflicts in the Middle East, in Afghanistan, in Iraq, our products were on the ground. If you go to G8s and G20 summits and look at the police officers, they're wearing our kit, boots, gloves, masks. Following the incident in Japan after the tsunamis, we know some of our kit was sent there to help them do some of the cleanup work. So our products are always being used in the field by a broad range of different end users. We don't try to do the low end, the medium end. We work on building the best products possible at a good value. And I think that's really critical. And we're able to do that through our knowledge of the materials, our knowledge of the design, ergonomics we have to consider in the design of the products, and the fact that we do our own manufacturing. So we control the process from the very beginning of mixing compounds, through designing, through manufacturing, and then we do our own sales and distribution. We only do what we say. When we make a bid and offer to deliver a certain product to a certain spec by a certain date at a certain price, that's what we do.